Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, so we're going to be reacting to a Christian asks if Jesus had felt pain in the crucifixion and Zach and Nike answers. I think it's my first time checking this and I know you guys don't believe Jesus died, so let's just go straight into this. Good evening. Um, I just wanted to ask a question related to the Christian who asked a question before. And you mentioned that uh, the soldiers stabbed Jesus and he was still alive before he was buried. My question is, did Jesus actually go to the cross or was he saved from ever having any of the pain? Sister, what's your name, sister? My name is Rachel. Sister has a question that when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he was stabbed by the soldiers, she's asking, did Jesus, peace be upon him, actually go to the cross? And was he in pain or was he safe from going to the cross? Now, both these incidences, details differ as per the Quran and the Bible. I am a student of comparative religion. I know both the versions. As per the Quran, the Quran gives the reply in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 157. It says that the Jews said in boast that we killed Jesus, the son of Mary. But the Quran says, Wama katalu, wama salabuhu. They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. Walakin should be alone. It was only made to appear so. Anyone who differs is full of doubt. Illetaba zan with only conjectures to follow. Wama katalu yakina, for a surety they killed him not. So according to the Quran, Surah Nisa chapter 4 was 157. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified. He was not killed. It was made to appear so. How it happened, we are least bothered about the details. The next verse says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 158, Allah raised him up alive unto himself. In the Bible now, for the Muslims, Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified. We are satisfied. It was made to appear so. How it happened, there are many hypotheses. Maybe somebody was replaced in his place. Or maybe may, we are least bothered. Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified, we are satisfied, we are not bothered to know the details. If you read the Bible, if you read the story, if you read the Gospels, we come to know that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the Jews, they alleged that he did blasphemy. If you read the Gospel of John chapter number 10, verse number 31, 32, when he says, I and my father are one. So they think that he claimed divinity. So they say that he being a man, you claim divinity. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says in the Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 32, that isn't it mentioned in your scripture that ye are gods? The person who speaks the word of God are called as gods. And the law is not broken. So here they mistook that he claimed divinity. They pick up stones to stone him. So then he says, many of good works have I done. For which of the good works do you stone me? So based on this, there's a trial in Pontius Pilate. And then he's put on the cross. And on, at that time, the Sabbath starts on Saturday for the Jews. It was in their philosophy that a person cannot be crucified on a Saturday which starts on Friday night. So because he was crucified on Friday, put on the cross on Friday afternoon, he was taken down from the cross early because a person cannot be crucified on Saturday. So because they take him out early, if I agree with the narration of the Bible, I assume that even if he was put on the cross, he did not die. That's the reason the soldiers... Wait! Okay, he was given vinegar and there was a poison for him to drink. And the soldiers... Spare, like, they use a spare to... I won't say chook, but... They inserted a spare in his stomach and water came out from his stomach. And... Based on that, with research and analysis, doctors have actually found that water can actually come out from your stomach. Like, if you can, if you want to, like, I have actually researched about this recently, and I kind of know what I'm saying. So, you can research about it. The truth is spare in your stomach, and water actually gushed out. Water and blood. So, before he gave up the ghost, guys, I don't know what he's saying, but let's continue. They pierce, and then you see blood coming out. And then in a hurry, they put him in the sepulchre. Now, when they put him in the sepulchre, 
he is there in the sepulcher on Saturday full day, Sunday morning, the stone is rolled out. When Mary Magdalene comes in front of the sepulcher, she sees that the stone is rolled out. So who moved the stone is the question. So based on the narration of the Bible, even if I agree, hypothetically what the Bible says is correct, nowhere does it say in this narration that he died. So what we come to know from this narration, if he has to fulfill the sign of Jonah, that as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in, in the, the heart, heart of, of the earth. earth. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has to be alive. If he's dead, that means Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38, he says, and he gives a prophecy that as Jonah was, so shall the Son of Man be. If Jonah was alive, he has to be alive. So what I assume in my reading as a student, after doing research, I don't believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied. So to fulfill his prophecy, I have to believe he was alive. He was put on the cross, but he did not die. If you read the dictionary, crucifixion, C-R-U-C-I-F-I-X-I-O-N, means to fix a person on the cross, and he dies on the cross. There is no word in the dictionary which says if you put a person on the cross and he does not die, what is it called? So new word we have to coin is crucifixion. C-R-U-C-I-F-I-C-T-I-O-N. It's a fiction, it's a story. He's put on the cross but does not die. So therefore I believe that if I agree with the Bible it is correct and Jesus did not tell a lie, peace be upon him, it was a crucifixion. F-I-C-T-I-O-N. It was not fiction, F-I-X-I-O-N. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. He actually made sense. Like, I'll be honest, he actually made sense. <sighs> so let's go back. He said, if Jesus was to fulfill the prophecy of Jonah, he's not supposed to die because Jonah was alive. Yeah, I can say... You see, that, that part got to me, you see. So, let, let's let's take a chill pill. Let me think. Please give me a moment. But if that part got to me, actually got to me, got to me, because it's like you giving him, there's giving you back. So that's why I said I won't try again with Dr. Zaki Knight. But let's take a chill pill. Jesus was the heart of the earth. And if I want to go with what he said, the heart of the earth means death. So you won't say, okay, Jesus is in the heart of the earth. That means Jesus died for three days. Because the heart of the earth means death. Like, he left this world. I would say, when someone died, he does not come back. But Jesus went to the heart of the earth for three days. And came back to this earth. Then he moved to heaven. So, it actually makes sense because Jesus said he's going to go to the heart of the earth. And Jesus said he's here to die for our sins. So... You get where the Christians are coming from. Because if Jesus was crucified, because I, I made research about it. Because someone said, if Jesus was actually flogged to the cross, they used stone. There's no way he can actually go to the cross and survive it. If, because the way the, the doctor said, with the way at which he would have been bleeding, there is no way he would have survived it. And then putting that spear in his stomach and water actually coming out. And to, like today, doctors now kind of know that that is actually possible based on that story. And him taking vinegar, guys. Guys, this was trained soldiers that actually killed him. It's not like, it's not like it was people. Like these were soldiers that killed him and brought him down he was buried with soldiers guiding the tomb because they know he's going to come out after three days so you were saying okay who treated him there like i i really just it does not for you to say jesus did die like it's way way harder than for you to just accept the part he died like i know it was written in your quran he didn't die but it wasn't written in mind that he died so who's going to believe her like Anyhow, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.